I would like to introduce you political observer for the Russian newspaper for the, you can believe, 60 years. <laughs> and he is the professor for the University of Minnesota and the Moscow University. Melor Sturoa. Uh, even in the Soviet Union and other countries uh, where totalitarian regimes were in power, the arts still flourished because the arts and the artist is uh, much stronger than any dictator. Pasternak was stronger than Stalin. Pushkin was stronger than uh, the Tsar Nicholas. And today we will see the manifestation of this phenomena because almost every number of today's concert uh, belongs to the past of the Russia better to say the past of the Soviet Union, which doesn't exist anymore. The Soviet Union doesn't exist anymore, but the songs created at that time, the pictures painted at that time, books written at that time, not only exist now, but they are superior to the arts create, which are now uh, being created in uh, well, let's say democratic Russia, because there are no kings anymore, no popes anymore. Nobody has money to support the arts. Well, people buy, of course, for $100 million uh, Picasso, but for themselves, not for us. At that time, again, this is a paradoxical, but at that time, art belonged to us. And you will see today that I am right. Thank you. raged over the world, the arts continue to live and expand, reflecting the best of human nature, hope, love, friendship, and striving for peace. Thank you. 
Then they looked around, but there was nothing left. The revolution had destroyed everything. So they started to build again, factories and power plants, railways and houses. They began to grow parks and gardens, and they began to have children again. They lived happily, always with song and dance. Russian Seasons has been incredible. I just showed up a little bit ago. Fantastic players, uh, fantastic dancing. I've been very impressed with the music and the wide selection of stuff. It's been really nice. The paintings are spectacular as well. 
I just really, the music is great, the singing is good, and I'm really having a, a good time here tonight, even though I don't understand the language. It's a lot of fun. And then a tragedy hit, war. Evil people came and burned down cities and factories, houses and railroads. They trampled gardens and parks and murdered children. The people were sad, so they cried. But they fought back and won, always, with song and dance. Katusha, an ordinary girl, how she sings for her faraway soldier, how she keeps his letters preserving their love, just as he preserves their country. Rastvitali, Yablani, Igrushi, Pop, Lili, Dum. 
Мани над рекой Выходила на брик Катюша На высокий, на брик крутой Выходила на брик Катюша На высокий, на брик крутой Выходила, песню заводила Про стяпну Восизово орла Про того, которого любила Про того, чьи письма берегла Про того, которого любила Про того, чьи письма берегла Ой, эти песни, песенка девичья Ты лети за ясным солнцем след и бойцу на дальнем погровище От Катюши передай привет И бойцу на дальнем погровище От Катюши передай привет Пусть он вспомнит девушку простую Пусть услышит, как она поет Пусть он за эту пережит родную а любовь Катюша сбережет Пусть он вспомнит девушку простую А любовь Катюша сбережет Hello, uh, we have an honor to be present at this wonderful um, exhibition of Vladimir Dikarev um, the artist who created those marvelous uh, poetic, uh, surrealistic drawings. This drawing is called Prayer or Temptation. It's one of the classical themes of prayer or temptation. This uh, character is being tempted by many abstract images of women, but he stays um, focused and calm because of his prayer. This drawing is telling us about two philosophers. Actually, it's interesting because within um, the, the election time, you know, it could, could be perceived as uh, two different candidates going different ways. So they're trying to find a way. One is showing one way and the other is showing the other way. So it's uh, two philosophers and choosing the way. This drawing is called Two Trees and Masculine Feminine. From one tree you could build a gun, like a wooden gun. From the other one you can build something like a musical instrument. So it talks about two different beginnings, such as masculine and feminine, two trees. This drawing is called Confession, also one of the classical themes in uh, Russian uh, Orthodox, but not necessarily church, talks about the person who is confessing uh, his sins and then uh, being closer to the upper forces. And uh, there are icons, and if you take a look at each of those uh, elements. This is a central piece, and it's a very interesting piece. It's called An Amazing Destiny of Concord. Everybody knows who were the Concords. The Concords, the flights, which are no longer are being produced because uh, they were too dangerous. So it talks about how the parts of the flight were um, separated and actually th those flights that were cut and they were giving as souvenirs to different, you know, they were sold as souvenirs. This drawing is called Civil War. So this is uh, uh, people who were killing themselves because civil war is always a, it's a dramatic event. They are people are killing themselves uh, for weird reasons. Representative of the East and West, which is already fallen down, and East is somebody who is waiting for the whole war to be over and to take over. And this could be represented as the wheel of history, which is also being on flames. Um, this is called an inspired musician. 
and of course every musician dreams to have many many fingers instead of the being inspired having wings but also having many many fingers uh, as if you 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 will become not one musician but the whole orchestra and this drawing is called Salzhenitsyn. Um, Salzhenitsyn was a very famous figure who was uh, uh, spending so, so many years in Gulag and that's why he's covered with eyes and uh, it's kind of burned on the sides and there's a tree in, in between. So because he was in the forest for so long and in Gulag. This wonderful world of uh, poetic surrealism uh, is the part of uh, Russian season festivals and it, it speaks about Russian history and many um, events which happened during uh, Soviet times as well and Russian times as well. <laughs> Смуглянки, молдаванки, часто думал по ночам вдруг свою смуглянку я в отряде повстречал. It's, it's it's really interesting because they're going from uh, the revolution all the way kind of you know recapping the the Soviet era so it's very interesting to see the progression of, of music and how you know your song and dance uh, changes uh, from you know the the different uh, periods of history so we, you know we start with the Russian Revolution and we, we hear a song uh, about uh, a, a red soldier dying and then we go into World War two and we hear women singing about about, you know their their loved ones going off to war and then their loved ones you know going back again so it's going to be interesting what you kind know, of the second portion of the performance brings <laughs> But they began to build again. The factories, the power plants, the railroads and houses, they began to grow gardens and parks again and to have children again. And even though everything was scarce, it was enough for them. They began to live like in a fairy tale, peacefully and joyfully, always with song and dance.
afar, I can recognize my darling by his walk. He wears officer pants, a Panama-style hat, fancy shoes. He may never come back anymore, and all I have is his picture. Зачем же вас родинки узнала? Зачем, зачем полюбила вас? А раньше я вер этого не знала. Теперь же я страдаю каждый час. А раньше я вер этого не знала. Теперь же я страдаю каждый час. О, мальчик мой, он к нам не вернутся. Он ехал, видно, навсегда. В Москву он больше не вернутся. Оставил только карточку свою. В Москву он больше не вернутся. Оставил только карточку свою. А я милого узнаю о попоходке. Он носит, носит брюки и галифе. А шляпу он носит на Панаму. Ботиночки он носит на Лиман. А шляпу он носит на Панаму. Ботиночки он носит на Лиман. I always enjoy Tatiana's performances because I never know what to expect. It's a constant surprise to me what she does. And she knits it together like a child, an innocent child. There is a certain amount of choreography and design to it, but it's playful. But I delight in this and I hope that uh, Tatiana will continue she does a beautiful Mother's Day as well. She's a very sentimental woman. And I believe that uh, live performances uh, have a place in our country. We're too fixated on electronic toys and effects. But there's nothing like a live performance.
beautiful time. How happy they were. Almost free. Gardens had grown up, and their children too. There are plenty of houses. Poets were composing their poems. Writers were writing their novels. And composers and artists were creating their masterpieces. Everything was getting taller, and higher, and higher, and up to the sky and people launched into space, always with singing and dancing. Everything is still until dawn. Not a creak of the door, not a light in the window, nothing but the sound of a lonely accordion in the street. All the girls in the village are woken up in the middle of the night by the lonely, by the lonely music, and we're all wondering for whose ears is he playing for? Ту падю на поля заворота, то 
забрана вернется опять, словно ищет подъемка кого-то и не может никак отыскать, словно ищет подъемка кого-то и не может никак отыскать. Ночная прохлада, с яблом свет облетает густой. Ты признайся, кого тебе надо, ты скажи, гармонист молодой. Ты признайся, кого тебе надо, ты скажи, гармонист молодой. Может, радость твоя недалека, да не знаю, ее ли ты ждешь, что ж ты бродишь всю ночь одиноко, что ж ты девушкам спать не даешь, что ж ты бродишь всю ночь одиноко, что ж ты девушкам спать не даешь. When your mood is down, a smile will brighten up your day. Если вы нахмурясь, выйдите из дома. Если вам не в радость солнечный тенек, пусть к вам улыбнется, как своей знакомой, с вами вовсе не знакомый встречный паренек. И улыбка без сомнения вдруг коснется ваших глаз. И хорошее настроение не покинет больше вас. Если вас любимый друг поссорит случай, часто тот, кто любит, ссорится за зря. Вы в глаза друг друга поглядите лучше, лучше всяких слов порою взгляды говорят и улыбка. Без сомнения, вдруг коснется ваших глаз, и хорошее настроение не покинет больше вас. Ваших глаз и хорошее настроение не покинет больше вас. Если кто-то другом был в несчастье прошен, и поступок этот в сердце вам проник, вспомните, как много есть людей хороших. Их у нас гораздо больше, вспомните про них. И улыбка без сомнения вдруг коснется ваших глаз. И хорошее настроение не покинет больше вас. И улыбка без сомнения вдруг коснется ваших глаз. И хорошее настроение не покинет больше вас. Не 
слышны в саду даже шорохи. Все здесь замерло до утра. Если б знали вы, как мне дороги, движется и не движется вся из лунного серебра песня слышится и не слышится в эти тихие вечера Песня слышится и не слышится в эти тихие вечера. Что ж ты, милая, смотришь из коса, низко and calm, even a little sleepy. Days are like days and nights are like nights. The people give, live together peacefully and the nations didn't fight each other. Look how quiet it is, even boring. Only it's forbidden to say that it's boring. And it's forbidden to write that it's boring. It's forbidden to think that it's boring. Or else, who knows what could happen? And then they decided to split apart. For what purpose, they didn't know. Always with song and dance.
светит незнакомая звезда. Снова мы оторваны от дома, Снова между нами города, Взлетные огни аэродрома. Здесь у нас туманы и дожди, Здесь у нас холодные рассветы, Здесь на неизведанном пути Ждут самые словатые сюжеты. Надежда, мой компас земной, А удача — награда за смелость. А песни довольно одной, Чтоб только о доме в ней пелась. Надежда, мой компас земной, А удача — награда за смелость. Довольно одной, чтоб только о доме в ней пелась. Ты поверь, что здесь издалека Многое теряется из вида. Тают грозовые облака, Кажутся нелепыми обиды. Надо только выучиться ждать, Надо быть спокойным и упрямым, Чтоб порой от жизни получать Радости скупы телеграммы. Надежда, мой компас земной, А удача — награда за смелость. А песни довольно одной, Чтоб только о доме в ней пелась Надежда, мой компас земной А удача — награда за смелость А песни довольно одной Чтоб только о доме в ней пелась И забыть по-прежнему нельзя все, что мы когда-то не допели, милые усталые глаза, синие московские метели, снова между нами города, жизнь нас разлучает, как и прежде, в небе незнакомая звезда. Свете словно памятник надежде, надежда, мой компас земной, а удача награда за смелость, а песни довольно одной, чтоб только о доме в ней пелась, надежда, мой компас земной, а удача награда за смелость, а песни. Дай мне, Боже, чуть побольше счастья и любви И друзей хороших тоже, чтоб не подвели Лунной ночью на стишок на отворю и помолюсь Улыбнуться с неба звезды Исчезнет грусть Лунной ночью на стишок на отворю И помолюсь улыбнуться с неба звезды Исчезнет грусть Дай нам, Боже, чуть побольше Счастья и любви и друзей хороших тоже, чтоб не подвели. Лунной ночью на стишок на отворю и помолюсь улыбнуться с неба звезды. Исчезнет грусть. Лунной ночью на стишок на отворю.
говорю и помолюсь Улыбнуться с неба звезды И исчезнет грусть They split apart and called it perestroika, and they began to build again and to grow, to have children and be happy again, to love, to trust, and to dream about a free world. But that's another story. Shit. 